it was nine o'clock count. I went to my single man room for count, and I, I laid down on my bunk. It was cold, I remember, and I pulled the cover up over my head. I could see the hallway light coming through my square uh, glass window in my steel door. And so I pulled the covers over my head, and I could still see the light coming through the pores. And then all of a sudden, blackness, complete, utter blackness. And all in a fraction of a second, I thought, was there an eclipse, a power outage? I mean, all in a second. Now, I was laying on my side, uh, my left side, facing the wall, and so my cell, the room would have been behind me, and instantly, I'm laying the same way, and I put my hand in front of my face, I can see nothing. I, I'm wiping my eye, I can't see nothing, it's so black, it's so black, and not only that, but I had no blanket no more. And even though I was laying the same way up on my elbow, I sat up on one elbow, I was still laying the same way as I was in my prison cell. And just in a second, now I'm all of a sudden in this outer blackness, and there's a, and the blackness was so thick. I mean, it, it was so thick. Realization hit me. I don't know how, but I all of a sudden knew, oh my gosh, I'm in hell. This is hell. I start freaking out. I go to turn to where my window would have been and look from the light from the back 40 coming in. And as I go to turn like this, still laying down on my side, there's a wall right behind me. Um, I, I'm on a cold stone floor. Uh, I was brought up in a church, I, and I, I, my picture of hell was always fire and everything, but I was on a cold stone floor in a tiny little cell on the floor, and I started freaking out. Now, I don't know if I was using my mouth or my mind, but I could hear my own voice saying, Lord, I'm a Christian. Lord, uh, there, there's got to be some kind of mistake. I'm in hell. And as soon as I started freaking out like that, Right above me, as I'm laying on my side, up on one elbow, right above me, I would say eight to nine, maybe ten feet tall, I seen four eyeballs, boom, open up. And one of them was like six inches shorter than the other one. And them eyes, I kid you not, were this big. And they were yellow, orange, and they had like, and it's like they were uranium or something. I see, They looked almost like they went around the side. They looked like a giant crazy reptile creature even though all I could see was their eyes the eyes did not light up anything in the cell it didn't light up their facial features nothing just their eyeballs opened up and and I knew that they just were like I woke them up because I'm I'm not laying on the floor going Lord I'm a Christian what Jesus I'm screaming and these eyes open up in the blackness and they're looking down about four foot off the ground and I could, and I, I remember looking up at their eyes, and their eyes were like digital, like focusing in, and and they kept going lower and lower and lower. I realized if I was to reach my hand out, I could grab their ankle or their toe. They're standing in the cell, these giant, whatever they were, demon, whatever they were. All I could see is their eyes, and. I put my other hand, I'm leaning up on one elbow, and I put this hand in my mouth because my teeth are literally rattling. I'm so scared. And these eyes keep going lower and lower and lower, and they're focusing in on me. If he would have just put his foot out, he would have kicked me, whatever they were. Next thing you know, something grabs me from behind. I feel it wrap right around me, like, ooh, and lifts me straight up. And... I'm flying backwards through the air. Uh, another thing, it was like a vacuum when I was in there. I could there was zero sound of the atmosphere, nothing. It was it was like a vacuum, silent. It, them creatures never made even an uttered a sound. It never nothing. All I could hear was my own voice screaming in my head, uh, or with my mouth. I don't know. 
I've never, I couldn't see nothing blackness. The only, the only thing to this point I've seen is eyeballs, but yet I knew I was in a tiny little cell with them and they didn't even have enough room to lay down. They were standing in this cell. Something grabs me right up and we go right through the ceiling or roof, whatever. Next thing you know, I'm a hundred yards away flying through the air backwards because something has me and it, I can feel it holding me and it's not hurting me. Uh, you, you, some people say they smell sulfur and hell. I didn't smell nothing. I'm just, but I knew I was in hell under the earth. I knew I was deep under the earth in hell. And t- 20 seconds ago, I was in my uh, in my cell in prison. Um, uh, so, anyways, we're flying through the air, and I see where I just came from. And somehow, it's all black, but somehow I could see this rectangle prison stretching as far as the eye could see i could see further and i seen it was like four stories high it was like a black uh medieval look uh but i knew that's where i just came from and there were these huge like stone steps going up the front of it like to the second floor or something but we kept going away from it next thing you know i can't see nothing again i just i feel this thing has me and then it releases me and i I'm on a ground somewhere. I did a 360. I looked all the way around, and I can't see nothing. I, I nothing. And I, I start saying, "Lord," I'm thinking in my head. My whole life flashed before my eyes, and I'm thinking, "Lord, I, uh, I, uh, I went soul winning as a kid. I went to church not one, three times. It was so Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday uh, evening. I said, "Lord, I went to a Christian school till the seventh grade." I, I picture a ribbon I, I got in a, a, a Sunday school for learning the most verses. All this stuff was going through my head. My whole life was flashing before my eyes. I, 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 I said, my mom, my dad, my brothers, I'll never see him again. And, you know, you think you know what eternity feels like mentally? No. I felt it. I felt what eternity. I, I I knew I was separated from God. I knew I must have died in my brain aneurysm or something in my cell. I knew I was in hell, and I knew I would never, ever, ever get another chance. And when I, my 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 senses were so heightened, everything. Next thing you know, as I'm freaking out, that being grabs me from behind again, and. It, Felt like it lifted me maybe 15 feet off the ground, and we start going forward. And off in the distance, I see this little glimmering white light, and I'm leaving a lot of details out. I'm trying to get through this. It's just, this ain't my cup of tea doing these. Uh, uh, I see this glimmer of light like a galaxy in the middle of blackness, and we're flying towards it. And the whole time I'm screaming. I couldn't even, I am screaming like I've never screamed. I'm God, please, Jesus, Jesus, I'm saved. What? I, I could not. I was screaming for him. And the more I was saying good things I've done, the tighter that grip got on me and the faster we went until the point where I could feel it like shaking me. It was it was like shaking me, man. And and I, I, I still couldn't understand. Now that white thing i seen in the distance we're getting closer it's it's getting bigger because i'm we're getting closer to it i i'm not a very good artist but i tried to paint it um and this this the camera shows everything backwards but as we're coming in uh long story short i seen like this never-ending huge wall miles away in the background the sky looked maybe like it was 400 feet high so these blackish clouds and there was this gigantic pole that would make a redwood look like a toothpick. I kid you not, in the center, with a steel collar around the bottom of it. And I all of a sudden could hear chains like I've never heard before. Chains, chains, chains galore. And, okay, and as we're flying it up to it, higher than them, I could see hundreds of thousands of people from... Uh, uh, and they all looked like they had no blood in them. They all looked saggy, drainy, zombieish, pale white. But I could still tell African American, Chinese, uh, uh, white. You know, I could still tell. And as we're coming closer to them, I 
I cannot tell you the oh the sound of they they were making the it, it was like they were trying to scream with their tongues cut out or something. It's like you know, and and you it's just yeah. It was so terrifying. I was screaming, Jesus! And now we're coming down lower to the outer edge of these people. And I see, now about 10 feet away, there's a white guy and an Indian guy. And it's like an invisible hand or a force just parted them. And they were, and I seen they had, everybody was chained together to this huge pole about a mile to the center. Um, and they were all shuffling counterclockwise going around and, and I and I could hear the grind of just hundreds of thousands of people all chain and they were all screaming and mumbling and moaning. I was the only one screaming for Jesus they had no hope they were just oh and, and something parted the outer a white guy a little taller than me and an Indian that looked like not in nowadays and he looked like maybe for 500 years ago or something parted them they were so tight like sardines even though they were all naked you couldn't see private parts or nothing they all their skin was ashen whitish uh, uh oh and, and i seen little people kids old people everybody i seen it all and they were all walking the same direction in a circle and something parted these two guys and they went, ugh, ugh. And I knew, and this force had me, it was slowly putting me into that place to be chained with them. And what I didn't tell you is, as, uh, as I was, before that happened, I was coming up on it, I seen this, like, thing, uh, it was the only thing that had color. This, it was, I could tell it was, like, tethered or chained to the top of this mammoth beam. And it was like, uh, it... It looked like a quarter size when I seen it, like a light hovering around these people, going going wherever it wanted. But as I get to this outer edge and they part two people to put me in, this thing, okay, whatever it was, it shoots over to me. It, it, none of the people realize. It shoots over to me, and as it came over, it was about 10 feet above all the people. As it came over, they were like, ah! just going mad, terrified of it and it stopped right above 10 feet up 10 feet from me it was tethered to this pole and it just was and i it didn't have a face or nothing it looked like spaghetti going all like this and it looked kind of the only thing it, had, it was like palish blue and it was like billions of slithering snakes and when it came over it was the size of a car you know it was huge and all the people were trying to, they were all just, and I was looking at them, and I was looking at it, like, what's it doing to them? And they were screaming these, so you wouldn't make that sound if you were being skinned alive or burned at the stake. It was, it was horrifying. And it just hovered there. And, 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 and I, and the whole, t and now this thing starts to, that has me, starts to push me into the spot that the invisible, for, between the Indian and the white guy. I got so close, I could have reached out and grabbed his shoulder. None of them looked at me. It seemed like the only thing that noticed me was this thing that came over, and it was hovering there, and it was just looking at me without a face. But I knew it was came over because of me, and it was and this being that had me was slowly putting me in my place. And the literal chains were about to come up like snakes and just get me. And I remember putting my hands up, screaming, Jesus. And when I said, God, please forgive me. Forgive me. I'm a sinner. I put my hands up. And I noticed my, it's the first time in this whole experience I seen my body, my hand. All of my hands and up my forearms was whitish, ashy like them. Except my thumbs. Right around this area was still look like, like peachy skin. Like, And I put my hands up and I said, God forgive me please forgive me i know i'm a sinner and as soon as i said that boom this force that had me i felt it let go of me but i went back only maybe a foot and i couldn't go no further it's like it was a force and i started running and even though these people were walking in a circle 
chained up. When I was running beside them, it looked like it was such a massive group. It looked like a straight line. And I'm running and people are just, ooh, I seen a kid up in front of me get kicked out of the line and then sucked back in like a meat grinder. And it, oh my gosh, it was, oh, it was so horrible. And I was screaming, God, please make this be a dream. Please make this be a dream. I knew it wasn't a dream. I knew it was a section of hell for lukewarm. I knew that all of these people thought they were saved. I knew it. Um. Just like I did. I knew that this, and so I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. I can feel my feet on hard ground, like blacktop almost, or stone or something. And, and uh, I'm running into outer darkness. And I'm I'm skipping a lot of stuff. I'm trying to get to, and I come to like some, I put, I, I'm feeling and I feel like the corner of some ruins. And I look around the corner and I hear this, like somebody's being tortured. It sounded like a, like a painful, like, uh, 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 and it made me feel sorry, like, and it, but it was so loud, it wasn't, and then the next thing you know, it kept going, like, uh, and it went so long that, no, it, I knew it wasn't human, and I literally put my, I was like, Jesus, and I look up, and there's this hundred, I'm guessing a hundred foot high, arched doorway, it looked castle, medieval something, I don't know, but I, I thought, what on earth could ever open that huge door? And it was, sh and and sticking out from maybe three quarters of the way up, there was like a stone uh, ruins, uh, like maybe it used to be an awning of uh, uh, or something. But sitting up way up on that was this giant uh, demon or whatever. But it looked like a per, it looked like a a white guy with like curly uh, brown hair. You know, it, uh, when I pictured King David in the Bible, that's who, I, I don't know what he looked like, but that's what I, he kind of looked like, that's what I always picture. And this thing was just sitting up on this Jedi of rock sticking out going, ah, and it was the most horrific, oh, it was painful, then it went to just rage, like it last, the scream would last for like maybe 45 seconds, 60 seconds, and then he'd go, ah, stop and then he would do it again <laughs> oh i forgot to say in that group when that thing was hovering uh looking at me the the spaghetti thing uh when that angel or whatever had me i think it was an angel it uh when, when it let me go and i went backwards that thing shot away to the center of these hundreds of thousands of people and I'll never forget, as it went across them people, the horrific, horrifying, painful screams these people were making. I, I can't even try to, I wouldn't even try to uh, embarrass myself trying to act like what, it, horrifying, horrifying, nothing on earth compares. And I knew. I was that person, the two guys in the Bible that pray, uh, one a sinner, a publican, and I always pictured the one as like, I'm not like that guy, you know, but no, he wasn't. He was a guy who went to church, paid tithes, did good deeds, and all he was, we do that. He was basically saying, you know, I'm not, like me, when I'm praying in prison, well, I'm not a gangbanger, I'm, you know, if I sell dope, I don't uh, rip them off or cut it with, put, you know, stupid. We're all sinners, every last one of us. I don't care who you are or where, what church you go to. We're all sinners, all of us. And if you would, if you don't look at yourself that way and realize that God is so holy and so righteous that we, even our righteousness is as filthy rags. If you if you think you're okay because you go to church and you're not a very bad person, think again. If you have to understand you're a horrible person you're a horrible person we are horrible people okay we're all horrible and we all have to kneel before god and give him our lives die a uh, die to our flesh daily that's what being saved is christ died for our sins it's not don't take grace seriously man i when i came back up Something grabbed me again. I'm skipping all kinds of parts, but it lifted me up and so quick. And I thought, oh my gosh, because this thing that was this, 
And when we went up past that door and I looked down on that guy screaming, ah, and I know people say with these feather wings of angels, it wasn't like that. It was like giant skin wings or black. They were he uh, 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 more like a bat than what you see in a... Uh, and this, this guy, it looked like a white guy, but you, you, I could see his back. His juggler vein was that big around. And he's screaming. He's, just, ah! he's looking up, and it was like, next thing you know, I, I see like tree roots and dirt, and I sit up in my cell. And it's like 3 o'clock in the morning, and I know I can tell you how in a minute. I, when I sat up, I was having a seizure. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't. I was trying to say, Jesus, G, 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 G. And my feet and my legs, everything was shaking like, <sighs> and, I, and it's like, oh, so I think I died because I, I, I was so soaked with sweat and everything. It was a, a cop, a CO came by maybe 15 minutes after I, and I remember looking at the door light the hallway nightlight coming through my glass door and I did not want to take my eyes off it because I was so afraid. I've never been that afraid in my life. Never. And this cop went by, shines the light, you know, and he keeps going. But then he turned around and came back and he goes, you all right? You have a nightmare or something? I couldn't even answer him, but he walked off. But I was soaked in sweat. And I, as soon as I could, I fell onto the floor. And I begged God for forgiveness. I begged God for... I, I plead with you to, to beg God for forgiveness. Don't think you're okay because you're not a rapist or a murderer. Or, you know, you're not like them. You know, don't, don't, don't. I beg you, please. At, uh, two months later, I had another vision. I was wide awake. It was insane, but I woke up on the side of a mountain, and I knew it was heaven. I seen my great-grandma who I lived with. It's another whole other story. But, man, I tell you what, man, turn to God. Nothing here is worth it. Nothing here is worth it. Hell, it was so real, and I knew that every one of them people thought that they weren't bad people. They, they thought they were okay. They thought they were okay. I, I, I urge you, I beg you, seek, seek God, why, why he can still be found, because it just breaks my heart that so many people are going there that they don't know it. God bless you.